All right, so welcome to another video, guys. This started out as a date night. I don't know how well you can see that behind me, but uh, yeah, my wife picked out this movie, and to be honest, I was thinking chick flick, like 100% chick flick. And then I noticed like these billboards here. Do you see those? There's a lot of pieces missing off those, so you know. I was thinking there's got to be snakes and then what's funny is this girl stops and you can see it in her eyes she's thinking like maybe milk snake or maybe even a speckled king snake so you know I'm thinking man my wife picked an awesome movie it's actually about finding snakes uh, you can see her backing up here and she's gonna go back to the first piece is what you know that's what I would do that's what probably most people would do and start flipping right so yeah here she is backing up and this is uh, an Oscar nominated movie too so about snakes how cool is that now you can see her thinking here is it too early in the season you know maybe I'll come back a little bit later uh, you know she doesn't you know she doesn't know what to do but uh, she's making a mental note she'll probably drop a pin on her phone and she'll come back later and there she goes Anyway, you know, I'm not going to ruin the rest of this movie for you guys, but it reminded me of a place I know of where there's a few billboards that have fallen. All right, so this is a spot. Uh, you can see it from the air. You can see all the boards spread out. They've been there for a long, long time. Now, it is next to a freeway, so it's going to be a little bit loud out there when I video, and there's not a lot I can do about that, but, uh, yeah, let's see if we can't find a snake. Think I'm going the right way? What do you think? <laughs> well, I saw a lizard. Maybe it's maybe it was an alligator lizard running across the border. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. No snakes under this one though. A lot of these plants here <laughs> have a lot of spikes on them. So I'm glad I got my gators on. And I'm glad I got my hook. Here we go, first snake. Just like that. I'll grab him real quick. All right, can you guys see how long this snake is? Um, I don't want to get bit in the face here, but uh, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but he's probably a good five feet in length. It's a big snake. All right, so I got him in the grass here. You guys see him? <laughs> I know it's a bit windy and there's some traffic noise, but you can still hear him hiss. And that's typically their thing. They hiss a lot. They typically don't strike, although they can, and they have teeth. But as you guys know, non-venomous snake, so, you know, it can't really hurt me. But I don't want to stress the snake too much. Anyway, super stoked. I'm going to let him go. All right, back you go. Sweet. All right, well, I'm super stoked right now. Even if I don't find anything else, I'd be happy. That was a large gopher snake, probably the largest one I've seen, and I've seen a few big ones already this year. But I've got a ton more stuff to look under, so let's keep flipping. So the sun's going to be behind that ridge pretty soon. Some of these are actually already in the shade. Oh! But, another gopher snake. Hold on. All right, so I got him out in the grass, too. Uh, I won't keep him out here too long, because we've already seen one. But, uh, another gopher snake on the very next flip. And this one is pretty big, too. It's almost five feet. Maybe not quite as long as the other one. But he was under here, so that's where I'm going to put him. I haven't checked the one over there. And is he going under it? No, he's going out into the grass. Well, I wouldn't call it grass. Well, actually, he's coming back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him right there. So he's underneath this one. Now, if there are two under here, then there's another one here. But there's a good chance I'll just find him again. Let's see. All right, it's just him. He's right here. 
So I'm gonna put it back down. I don't see anything else. All right, so three boards and two big gopher snakes. And I've got a lot of stuff to flip, actually. And, you know, time's gonna be a concern with the, it's about 6 p.m., maybe 6.30, so let's keep going. All right, so another piece in the shade. And nothing under that one. I'm gonna be honest, even with these gators on, these plants are a pain in the ass. Like a total pain in the ass. Uh, a little rat, but that's about it, no snakes. And as you can see, when it's a fallen billboard, these pieces are large, really large. Which is gonna make it a little tough to try and do everything myself. But I don't see anything under that one. <laughs> this place is just full of gopher snakes, I guess. Gopher snake number three. And it looks like he's going to shed pretty soon, so I won't even pick him up. But third gopher snake, how sweet is that? All right, what else is here besides gopher snakes? Nothing under this board. Big rat. Go for snake food. So just the way I'm flipping this one right here, you guys are gonna be able to see it with the camera before I am. Oh, is there anything under there? A lot of surface area. And you can see somebody actually has crushed an alligator lizard here. What a bummer. There's a centipede over here too. That's why it's a good reason to put these things back, you know, softly if you can. Again, this highway noise, there's not a lot I can do about it, so I'm just going to talk loud. Again, you guys are going to see this flip before I do, because the camera's going to get over the top. And <laughs> another gopher snake. All right, so I grabbed him real quick. I've got the hook propping up the board here, and I won't hold him for long. I'm just going to let him go. But gopher snake number four, crazy. Still plenty of things to flip. Again, I know it's loud. I can't even remember if that was four or five gophers now. I think it was four. All right, let's see what happens on this one, if I can get it. Well, what do we got? Another gopher. That's gopher number five. What's interesting is all these gophers have been large adults. I mean, that's another five footer at least. Anyway, I'm gonna put this down. I don't wanna stress him. I've already got a few gophers out, but five gophers. All right, am I just being greedy now, wanting to see more? I've seen five. Let's see, how will I do this one? Maybe from here. And there's another one. Hold on. He's over on that side. All right, so he's over on this end. These plants, again, they are a pain in the ass. You just gotta barely touch them, and they don't feel good. There he is. See him? Another gopher. All right, let's put this back. I know I'm competing with the freeway noise, but six gophers. Six, all large adults, and I still got, I don't know, at least six or seven more pieces I can see, and probably some I can't see, so let's keep flipping. Nothing. 
centipede. All right, these big ones are a pain to do by yourself, to be honest. They are hard to get up and look under. That didn't sound right. Hold on. Yeah, nothing. Okay. <laughs> and yet another gopher. This one just a little smaller than the others, probably three feet. But gopher number seven, right? <laughs> All right, we'll leave them. I wonder if it's only gophers in this field. It may be. Oh, there's a king snake here. Hold on. Now, would you guys have seen that? Wow, just barely saw this guy. All right, so uh, there's something else here, king snakes. Banded king, about three feet in length. And there's nowhere here to video him, like at all. So while it's something cool and something different, I'm gonna let him go down this hole right here and you guys can watch him disappear, if that's what he does. All right, well, something different now, king snake. Um, I don't even know how many gophers. I'm gonna have to, you know, edit this and see. I think I'm up to six or seven gophers in the one king, and I still got at least a few pieces. So let's keep flipping. You guys are gonna see it before I do. Another king, a nice king. Great color. Here, hold on. I'll grab him real quick. <sighs> I know this isn't going to make great video, but I put him on the sign because I really don't have anywhere else to put him. But Cal King, two in a row, another banded one. I'm assuming here there are only banded ones. All right, so I dropped him back down where I found him. I can't see any obvious holes for him to go under, but he'll probably find one. And once he does and or moves out of the way like that, <laughs> I'll put the board back. All right, two kings. I honestly can't tell you if I flipped this one yet or not. I don't think I have, so I'm kind of working myself in one direction. Yep, another gopher. Another gopher, hold on. All right, so I'm not going to get him out, but I'm going to flip it right where he is. There he is. We haven't seen this one. Another gopher snake. Sweet. Very, very sweet. <laughs> There's a board in here. Gosh. This is the hardest one I've had to get to. Let me guess. Since this is the hardest one to get to, I'm going to go... i got to put my stuff down here. I'm going to go with, I don't know, a couple kings. Maybe a gopher. Let's see. Oh, Southern Pacific rattlesnake. I haven't seen that yet. And a gopher snake right next to it. All right, so I'm sort of focusing in on the Southern Pacific just because we haven't seen one of those here. And uh, yeah, the gopher's kind of back there looking this direction. There's that one stick right on top of him. And I'd love to move that, although I'm not gonna reach down and do it. I do have my hook, so maybe I will move it. Hold on. There we go. A little sunlight coming through. Looks like he's gonna shed or else he did shed. I see some, uh, what looks like old scales above the one eye there. This might be my last piece, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna let this guy go on his way, and I'm gonna go on mine. All right, now where did I put my camera bag? Oh, here it is. Sometimes I think I've totally lost my mind out here. I'm literally in head-high mustard that I'm sort of allergic to. There's all these nettle plants or whatever the hell they are. And I'm walking out here looking for boards using my phone and the GPS. 
But I found one. What's going to be under it? I'm going to use my hook if I can. And there's at least one snake. Let's be careful before we start looking too much. I don't see anything else. Another gopher snake. This is a little one. And he's going to shed soon, so I'm not going to bother him. But like gopher number 9 or 10 or I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna set this down carefully and see if I can't find anything else. Yeah, it's a sea of yellow, isn't it? There's a board here somewhere. But am I going the right way? We'll see. All right, this is either the last board or maybe the very first one I flipped when I got here. I can't remember now. Oh, I don't remember this. There's an alligator lizard and another little gopher. So I definitely didn't flip this. There's also a centipede in frame. I don't know if you can see that. And I won't disturb this guy either. But another gopher snake making it like, I don't know, a lot. All right, so back in the car now. Um, I hope the wind noise wasn't too bad for you guys. Um, how many snakes, you know, like how many gopher snakes did I find? 10, give or take a couple? <laughs> it's funny when you lose count. And then the one Southern Pacific rattlesnake and the two California king snakes. So a great day all in all. I'm not going to spoil the movie I was telling you about at the beginning of this video, but uh, I will let you know there aren't any snakes in it. <laughs> That's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see ya. Yeah, these things sure saved my ass today. Not from a snake bite, but from all those bushes.